What is up, YouTube? It is your boy, Jad, here from Pumbo Plot. Play some more Farming Simulator 22. This time, we're starting a new map. It's called Riverview Farms. And it's going to be multiplayer with uh, basically people from Twitch chat. So, that's going to be interesting. Very, very interesting. Anyway, let's get to it. All right. So, we're here. Riverbend. Um... Or not Riverbend, that's the new one. Riverview Farms. Not Riverbend, that's the new one. Gonna run me over. Alright, so it's kind of an interesting map. Uh, the one problem with it is there's no water in the river. So you got like this nice, this nice river. I don't have audio. Hello? There it is. Uh, but there's no water. But it makes a splashy sound when you jump in it. But there's no, there's no water actually. And that goes, it's for the lake and the whole river that goes down in this, all this water, it's not there. There's no water. So. Trenton Zack cheered X100. Hey, left, you're not supposed to do that, and you're meant to walk straight. Trent, thanks for the bits. Uh, but here's the uh, here's the map. I don't know, what is there, 41 fields, 42 fields, 43 fields? Yeah, 40, 45. Hang on, I'm seeing 48, 9. Something like that. Yeah, let's, let's go 49, 50, 50 fields, final answer. Yeah, 50 fields. So it's it's a decent, you know, it's got it's got stuff. Uh it looks like an interesting map. It's got quite a homestead to it actually. Um which is kind of cool. Oh, I don't have no collision camera. No boy. <laughs> there's no GPS, there's no there's nothing. Uh but we have like all the all the shed space in the world. Actually, it's pretty good shed space. Not gonna lie here in the homestead. And we start I, I started a new farmer. Uh the only thing I've changed is like I turned off the field stones. Now that doesn't mean they're not there, but I turned them off. That's like all I've changed. There's our new Holland combine. So decent combine to start with. And uh we got bale storage and moors and what I like about it is all the equipment or a lot of the equipment's like dirty, like you know, you could tell they were like they were playing the map and then like parked everything or something, you know? Crop destruction is turned on, which I might regret that one, but yeah, it's turned on. Um, plowing's turned on for now. We can't change that one later, but for now it's on. We got a tipper and a trailer and we got all the, we got all the stuff, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we got a cow barn right in our homestead. We got sheep. Oh, that's another cow barn. Hang on. We got double cow barns. Okay, so there's like our homestead here. And then kind of like extension of homestead. And then there's actually like a little biogas plant. Which is kind of cool. All like right here. You know, it's kind of it's kind of interesting. Clean up the skippers. Oh, goodness. And then that's for chickens. And then that goes up to our house where we were at before. Um, but, yeah. I think it's pretty darn cool. So, there's actually... Um, when you start with, you get a fair bit of land, I feel like. Uh, remember, this is a new farmer. And the economic uh, difficulty is on easy. Because, well... That's fine. You know? It's fine. Uh, so, we have these wheat fields. And we have grass fields that are... Everything's ready to go. Actually, I don't know if the grass is technically ready or if it's first day. That I don't actually know about. Hang on. Let's go. Uh, let's go check. Mm, what vehicles are at the BGA? We'll run up there. <laughs> so the grass to me looks first day, but that's just me. All right. Hang on. Let's run to the BGA. Mm, yummy. L3FT43 at Cheerdex 100. I wasn't walking. I was climbing out of the semi and within a blink oh. it was shooting pain and I was on the ground to my knees. 
I rather get another four to eight hour to two than experience that again. Oh man. Laugh, that's rough. That is rough. Holy cow. Uh, here's our other cow barn, by the way, with manure heap and, and all that good stuff. And I think we can remove these walls eventually too, if we wanted to. I think. Oh, there's a little, it, look, it's a fake John Deere. It's a, it's a wish, uh, it's a wish John Deere. <laughs> The vulture. <laughs> oh goodness me. That's rough. That is rough. There's actually another biogas plant across the map, but this is like our own up here. So we got a big bunker, um, you know, fermenter, a storage bin, which is interesting. And then uh, there's a tele handler and a wheel loader here. So I don't know if this is supposed to be for like storing bales because you got a bale spike on there i don't know and then there is a uh uh forklift here at the shop but this is oh this is not owned by us this is owned by the map and that's just it's there if we need to use it so kind of interesting if you ask me um but yeah kind of interesting all right so we definitely have jobs for probably two other people. So I'm going to go ahead and there's two people in the queue. So we'll just go ahead and pick and, and pick. And look at this. It's going to pop up a chat. Wait for it. Maybe. Maybe. May, may, maybe. There we go. So if y'all just like say something in chat, then I can just click on your names. Be and there, like, 0313 cheered. Send you the info. 100. I too would like to ride the train. Tickets, please. <laughs> Bear, thanks for the bit. So, if, uh, I could just scroll up and find Kimmy. Hang on. Uh, Whisper. Hopefully, this copy is in there somewhat okay uh, for Kimmy. Yeah, that looks fine. Yeah. Yeah, that looks good. Uh, Harry, say something in chat, please, and I'll uh, send you the info as well. Biz Walker, what's going on? Happy Friday to you. There we go. So, that's how we're going to do it. Just when you When you get picked... You're just going to get a DM from me on Twitch and that a big bad boom. It's that simple. So you betcha. There we go. Got to get our beacons on. Uh, Miss Walker. Welcome. Welcome. Hope all is well. So the goal for this map is uh, <laughs> to make pizza. Uh, the bakery on this map, we can make pizza. Uh, we can make pizza in the, in the bakery. So. That might be the goal for the map. Uh, short term, though, it's going to be, or, or midterm, whatever. Uh, a lot of, like, small to medium-sized equipment, probably. I don't see going, like, massive, massive, like, X9s and stuff on this map. I just don't see it. At least not, not for a while. I don't even know if it'll fit through the front gate, you know? There is another homestead, too, by the way. Um... I think it's this yeah this is another homestead down south too so that's kind of cool and then there's actually already planted grapes and olives too by the way <laughs> already planted grapes and olives y'all i know that's super 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 thrilling so kind of cool i want pizza when we'll be ready <laughs> might be a while pepperoni equals pigs you know so i don't actually know what it takes but um we will have to uh we will have to wait and see where's it at here um the no this menu uh so we have pizza and sandwiches and soybean oil and i mean donuts we can make donuts and wolfles i mean it's crazy and a lot of it comes from the bakery obviously all right, who was that, by the way? All right, Harry's here. This is on console, and it's joinable as well. We're doing uh, we're gonna do a multiplayer with, with whoever wants to join, basically. Kind of. Oh, yeah. Kind of reminds me of Blackrock a bit. I could see that, Matt. Yeah, with the elevation in the homestead here. It's got good elevation changes. It has actually has uh, custom textures for map for crops too, I believe. Not for all of them, but uh, for some, and that's that's always good. That's always good. Love to see that. 
No, Kimmy. Kimmy, no. Dang it, I was really hoping we weren't gonna have that problem because we don't have like any mods. Oh gosh. Well that's just like that's that's gonna suck. Oh man. I was really hopeful that uh that wasn't gonna be an issue because uh we don't have like any mods. Literally there's two. One's the map and one's um the thing. Well, I guess we have to do this then. Chat, bear with us. We're going to restart the uh, server real quick. Oh, it's so annoying, chat. So annoying. Uh, so, chat, if you want to uh, potentially join, we uh, I, we probably need a command for this, right? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Not at all, Sean, though. <laughs> this might just be a little awkward, but well, whatever. Uh, so, you guys can join the queue, by the way. If you type, um, what was it? Ha exclamation point, uh, FSMP in the chat. If you guys want to be put on the queue, as we have more jobs, we will, uh, add people to this, to the, to the list. Limit to six and do the self host option. Barf. Why would I self host? I don't think, I think it'll still have problems with self hosting too. Because uh, I think Matt used to have this problem when he would host uh, Phil and Old Man, right? Correct me if I'm wrong, Matt, but I'm I th pretty sure I remember you guys talking about like not somebody not being able to join, right? Maybe. Man, that's rough. That's rough. That's rough. That is rough. But like I said, if you guys want to be put on the queue, you can. You can. You know, you can do it. Self-hosting does not expose IP, though. Not through FarmSim. No, it wouldn't. And technically... Uh, technically, I... Well, I'm, I'm still hosting off my IP, so... But it's not the same. It, FarmSim, I don't think... No. I don't think so. Let's see if it stops the 0%. I gotcha. Not incompatibility. Oh, I got you, Matt. Okay. You guys never had the stuck at zero thing. All right. Well, it's back up. The good thing is, man, sinks are, uh, when you don't have any mods, sinks are, uh, sinks are very efficient. <laughs> we'll just say that much. We'll just say that much. Yeah. If you both join like at this, it should be okay. Hopefully at least a little bit. I even like left and joined a couple times earlier to be like, all right, is it going to work? Let's hope. I think we know the answer now, though. That's unfortunate, honestly. Very, very unfortunate. All right. That was one sink. I said both of them joined, so we should be okay now. Hopefully. I guess we could unfold the machine, you know. Oh, there we go, second sink. There we go. Alright, chat, we're back in the dark ages of farm sim. No GPS. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> Goodness me. I don't know about this one. I don't know. I can tell you all these. Oh, I don't have lumberjack mod. Oh no! All these trees down here need to get cut out. <laughs> I can tell you all that much right now. Oh no! All right, it happens. Skippers galore. I don't think it'll be that bad, honestly. I really don't think it'll be that bad. Just saying. 
And if we have skippers, we have skippers. That's it's fine. The wheat actually looks looks pretty good. I believe it's a custom texture. I, I like it. I wonder what the card looks like. <laughs> That's really my ultimate uh, thing. Like, what's the card look like? We don't. Do we not own like? You go barely outside the field. And you don't own it over here. Okay. All right. That's fine. That's fine. I don't need the console. Or True. Oh my god. We have to get a stop. I won't be able to pick the tree up either. Oh goodness. Goodness, goodness me. We might regret this adventure, but we'll see. We will see. We do have a payloader, that's true. That's true with the dialage. I'm not worried about cutting them down right now, but eventually they will all have to go. Just saying. Yeah, but ideally we're just not like going to run any mod Sean, basically. That's kind of the kind of the, the purpose here, you know, like going back to the roots. Just saying, going back to the roots. No mods. I mean, there's two mods. One's the map, one's a required mod. That's it. And there's nothing else. Nothing else here, so yeah. Welcome in. What's going on? What are you doing today? How are we doing? All right. So we're trying to go around the field, chat. Right. This map definitely has some hills up here in the north part. Yeah, I, I think it flattens out when we get down south a little bit, maybe. Uh, but up here, it's definitely got some hills hills to it. Mr. Jeff, what's going on? How are you? Well, it's popping. Uh, so, Kimmy, if you're around, if you want to grab a baler or if you want to come by and I'll grab a baler, I don't really care. I don't know. if I know she's synced in, but I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but it's all good. It, she might may have had to step away. She was so mad at me for taking her taking all the bales, you know. Mr. Jeff, hope all is well. Going on. Uh, but yeah, it's all good. So I guess we'll wait a day on mowing the grass because I don't think it's quite ready. It's like day one, so we'll go ahead and hold off on that. Oh, we, we thought about leaving a skipper there for a second, but no. Don't leave any skippers. I don't know about anybody else, but I've, I've had the urge to hit the insta wash button about 875 times going around this field. And well, it doesn't do any good, so. It doesn't, it doesn't wash my, yeah. Doesn't wash my vehicle. Not bad finishing up hours. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Thanks for that follow. Appreciate you. Welcome in here. How's it going? We do have a bail a bail trailer, yeah, we do. It, it, it kinda you know how Stevie starts you with like one of everything that's kind of how this map started us uh thanks for the follows welcome in y'all how's everybody doing what's popping welcome on in hope all is well 
Alright, we're gonna go around the field twice and then we'll back and forth, I guess, you know. Gosh. No GPS. It's kind of weird not having GPS, honestly. Uh, this is a newish map. Uh, I, actually, it's new to us. It's been out for a while, but new new to me today. Yes. Yes, it's called uh, Riverview Farms. Like I said, it's been out for a little while, but new to me. And there's not really much of a view of the river because there's no water in the river. That's okay. That's like the one issue that I've noticed with it. So yeah. Oh wow. That's okay, Sean. Maybe we'll do it again. There's nothing in the river. Not even any water in the river. I think we've had a couple dry years. That's the RP we're going with. And the uh, the river's dried up. But that's okay. Actually, I was looking at... Uh, one of the maps I was looking at yesterday had the uh, fish farm as a required mod. Which I thought that was kind of interesting. But, yeah... Yep. <laughs> uh, I'm kind of already missing Lumberjack because, like, I would have probably already cut those streets down if I had it. Dry river farms, yeah. Pretty much, yeah. Just a little bit. But that's all right. It's so... Uh, get What? Wait. Oh, the forklift was brought back from the shop. <laughs> Is that what Gimme was doing this whole time? Gimme, you gotta join the farm too, but I, I think he did actually. Never mind. Yeah, you did. Okay. Gimme was <laughs> driving the forklift back. Oh, goodness. Remember, chat, if you guys want to join the queue, type exclamation point FSMP in the chat, it'll put your name in a queue. And when we need more help, I'll pull a name out of the queue and uh, you can come join the farm. There's only two mods. One's the map, one's the required mod, and that's it. So, yeah. And I guess technically if we wanted to have some people come on and maybe go, go off and do some contracts, we, we could do that. Because there are contracts to do, so... You know, a nice ten thousand dollar cultivating contract. That would be uh that'd be good. Some harvest contracts. So we don't even have the better contract mod. Man, it's like the dark ages chance. <laughs> uh by the way, and that's console RPC. This is a crossplay uh crossplay server and uh crossplay maps. If anybody's wanting to join, yeah man. All it costs is a hundred bales. That's it. That's it. That's it. Oh yeah, no big, uh, no big deal. Yeah, this map, uh, Matt, uh, definitely, like here and here, here, here and and here and and here <laughs> and here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, definitely up. Maybe up there. I don't know what the train is on some of these plots, but yeah. You betcha. But yeah, it's it's. There's definitely some fields that need to be plowed together. Yeah, especially right in here. Take all these trees out and make this all one one field. Uh, through here, definitely. Definitely, definitely. We have air. Awesome cookie. Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. What was wrong with it? I'm very curious. Very, very curious. Chat, we don't even have precision. So like, I'm really going to have to learn how to play this game again. 
With no precision? I mean, goodness me. It's kind of crazy, honestly, you know? So I guess, chat, we need to decide pretty fast. Do we want cows like today or do we just sell... Uh, do we just sell like the straw off these fields? You know, we could do that too. A little bit of everything. <laughs> That's not good. That's not good at all, Cookie. Lime and Lime are turned on. Yes, Sean. You betcha, buddy. I'll show you the thing here in a second. It looks so different from how we normally play with... Uh, uh, what's it called? How we normally play with uh, Precision on. Oh, the fuse. I will. Oh, so was the compressor just not running then, Cookie? Is that what happened, actually? But look at this, Sean. It's so. It's the fertilizing map. The need. It's so weird. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> it's all so weird. We have a subsoiler, Sean. It starts us with one, so. Uh, Kimmy, we can bail it. I just don't know what we're doing with it yet. Uh, we can definitely bail it, though. Yes. Uh, I just don't know. Do we want to sell it or do we want to, like, hold on to it for gas? We definitely need the lime shot, yes. I guess we probably could just sell it because... Um, um, we'll just probably sell it because even if we do want cows, like, we don't have silage for at least a day. Or a little bit, so. Because we could definitely take all of our grass and make that all into silage. Like, that wouldn't be a problem. Because we have a... We have a bunker, so. Uh, we probably should repair the combine. Yeah, there... It's, oh, I don't have that, that mod either. Uh, definitely a little damage, yeah. All you know is the AC is working now. Just need the house to pull off. Gotcha. I mean, we do have storage for bales too. Uh, there is a bale storage in the homestead, so there is that too. So, yeah, we could definitely just store them up. But we got we got options, you know. We, we definitely have some options, which is is good. Options are always a good thing to have. I'm trying to make this uh, straw nice and neat-ish, you know? Not too much of a wreck. Oh, man. Oh. And there are some... There are collectibles on the map, too, by the way, so... We should definitely... Um, maybe nose around a little bit and try to find those at some point today. Uh, just for the cash, you know? Although we actually have a fair bit of equipment, to be honest. We actually have a fair bit of stuff. We kind of have, like, one of everything already, so... Uh, it does have a custom, uh... I think it has a custom thing, too. That looks... It looks... Maybe not. I don't know. It looks kind of different to me. Kind of... It's just, there's no, like, extra stuff, though. It's kind of weird. Just saying. I'm so used to the multi-fruit stuff on uh, Elm Creek. This is so very different. Basically a double the fields or so. Yeah. We actually do have, like, it's a fair bit. The 11 and 12 are grass. Yeah, 11 and 12 are grass, and then four fields, so. It's not bad right now, honestly, the amount of land you start with. Especially for the equipment that we have, you know? I not harvest in a few months, yeah. That's why I say it looks, uh, it looks a little different. 
it said on the Giants website in the Mod Hub, Mod Hub website, whatever you want to call it, uh, it, it said something about a custom calendar, so. Which, hey, I'm, I'm here for that. I'm definitely here for that. Why not, right? Why not? I definitely need to plow these fields together. Like, that needs to be a priority. Uh, which means fun with chainsaws and loaders and... Oh, boy. I was thinking we could use that wooden chipper, but that's a mod, so never mind. Just bring a chipper out here to the field, but we could probably run these through like a small chipper. You know, if you cut the trees up small enough, you can uh, you can still pick up the pieces base game, like all the branches. So. I don't know. I mean, we do only have a hundred thousand dollars, so it's not like we have a bunch of money to be uh, to be messing around too much, you know. So there's there's that for sure. All right. I'm just really disappointed it did the zero percent thing. I'm. It, it's got to be a farm sim issue now, because like we have one mod, well two technically. One's the map, and one's a required mod and we don't have those two two mods on another on our other save right so it's got to just be a farm sim server client server thing is broken or something i don't know because it did this back in the day on a rented server too like it's not just this is not a new thing you know to have this problem so i don't know I guess we just deal with it till 25, huh? That's probably what it is. I think Kimmy had to go change tractors to a bigger one. Probably not too bad of an idea. I believe you cut the tree, the po see the post in here? I think we can cut that out and it'll get rid of a bunch of the hedgerow. I believe we can remove all of our hedgerows. Or most of them, anyway, which is kind of nice. That's good. Definitely good. By the way, I did not watch uh, Big Brother last night. The so Trent, John, no spoilers. Although Dad kind of spoiled it for me when I went to the house last night, so that's okay. Got post to delete edge. All right, Jeff, I got you. Jeff, have you played this map? The tinkle in my pants? Yeah. Bear 313 cheered Dex 100. This is so weird. No GPS. The time is actually moving and we can't remove trees in a snap of a finger. I know. Right, Bear? I got you, Jeff. I got you. It's, it's very strange, Bear. Very, very strange. Not how I'm used to playing Farm Sim at all. But that's okay. Um, we had kind of a, uh, I guess you'd call it like a family emergency last night. Uh, so I got a, a little stressful and, uh, I ended up not watching, uh, uh, what's it called? Big brother or, uh, I didn't watch any ER last night either. Yeah. But I think things are okay today. So from what I heard this morning, things are, uh. Things are okay with that. Somebody had to be uh, maybe rushed into surgery last night. Kind of uh, in an emergency fashion. So, yeah. You can watch the live cams on Paramount. Yes, you can watch the live feeds on uh, Paramount. Yo. I haven't done it. I'm, I'm like Big Brother's great and all, but I don't know about watching the lives. I did that once like years ago, but. Uh, yeah, it's been a while since I've participated in the live feeds. So yeah. It has been a while. 
<laughs> yeah. It's boring, yeah. I know some people are really into it, and that's fine. I, I'm not that into it. Especially because apparently they keep uh, they keep cutting the feed when like something fun happens, like somebody gets an arg argument or something like that. They cut the feed to the fish tank. Well, it's like, well, then what's the point, you know? What's the point? So yeah, I don't know what the point is, but it's okay. It's all good. Alright. Darn trees getting in my camera. I don't have my no collision camera mod either. So sad. Oh, I can see that, Sean. Yeah. I can see that. Like I said, there's nothing wrong with people watching the feeds. If you want to watch the feeds, watch the feeds, you know. No problem with that. Cut them down. I mean, Trent. What do I do with them once I cut them down? <laughs> That's the difficult part, all right? Just saying. Cutting them down is still easy. Sell them. Okay. Thank you, Captain Obvious. I guess I did open myself up to the Captain Obvious. Yeah. I sure did. That's okay. Uh, by the way, tomorrow on the other map chat on Elm Creek Forest by Stevie, uh, we will have grapes to harvest on there. And spoiler. I've already harvested some of them. And, uh, yeah, it's, <laughs> horseplay is cheating. I'm just going to say it. I'll, I'll be the first one to admit it. Horseplay is cheating. All right. We could have the biggest vineyard ever and it wouldn't matter because we have horseplay. This is the constant fish tank cam. I got gotcha. you. That'd be like at Starbase if they started moving a booster or a ship and they cut to a fish tank. Like, well, what's the point, you know? Just saying. But it's all good. Okay, so where are we at? We can't plant anything right now, can we? We can plant canola, but canola is such a, it's a year. I just, it's, it's too much, man. Too much. Plant, oh, it's harvest, not plant. Never mind. Okay. We're done looking. Wow, that's all we get. Wow. Just, wow. So this is going to show y'all that I, uh, can't, well, you guys already know it though. I can't drive in a straight line of farm sim, right? I mean, I guess I could lock in on my compass down there, you know? <laughs> Imagine being a compass farmer again, chat, huh? Yeah. Like, the, the Dark Ages are here again, you know? The Dark Ages, chat. But that's okay. It's all good. Oh, you know what? That... I called it out earlier as being weird. This storage up here, that's our storage for the entire farm. There's no other storage. I get it now. It's just up there. Okay. All right. Because I was like, that's weird, but no. That's just the storage for the farm. That's the grain bin of for the for the firm. All right. Makes sense now. Definitely makes sense, especially if you don't think about it. Uh, so yeah. All right. Okie dokie. So chat the other day, my rain gauge broke, which I know is like super sad, sad times. 
And then you start looking them up on Amazon. You're like, yeah, I want a rain gauge. I want it to be like a digital one. So I don't have to like remember to empty it all the time. Or like in the winter, I don't have to, you know, worry about it freezing because it'll empty itself. And then you start looking and you're like, well, they have Wi-Fi enabled rain gauges because I need that. If it's Wi-Fi enabled, you betcha. You betcha. I need this. So there might be a Wi-Fi enabled rain gauge on its way. Because why not have a Wi-Fi enabled rain gauge, right? It seems seems legit to me. Then you can like go on this app and you can it'll track your rainfall and your temperatures and your barometric pressures over the whole month and years and all this stuff and so much weather nerd like is about to happen here, okay? It'll be here in two days. So. Game underscore to yeah. underscore night just subscribed. Game tonight, thanks for the subscription. Welcome to the Platzi. We just have in your email, so let's go, man. Appreciate it. He's always checking the app on his phone. Well, you know how you guys like got tired of me talking about my air conditioner, so just wait till next week. <laughs> Y'all are gonna get tired of me talking about my ring gauge. Or something like that. I was actually thinking about like, you know, getting a non Wi Fi enabled one, but kind of the same thing uh, for the farm, too. Because, like, you know, sometimes you go down there, like, somebody will go down there and they'll empty the rain gauge, but they won't, like, tell everybody else how much rain was in it. Uh, the equipment is, like, all used, Barry. Yeah. It has 27 hours on it, so. I think I'm going to stop and repair it after this, uh, after this field. Yeah, all the equipment in the shopping or in the, in the, uh, sheds, it's all, like, dirty and kind of beat up. Which I kind of think was cool. So it's like, I don't know if they were testing or, or what, but like everything has hours on it and like everything's like dirty and yeah. Now, if you were a repair point, I guess I'm going to have to drive to the shop because I doubt there's a repair point in our homestead and I don't have that mod. Ugh. Requires the rain gauge won't ever rain again. I hope not. I hope it'll keep raining. <laughs> well, at least not today. It's not going to rain. Look at all of our bales. They're so they're so beautiful. All right, yeah, I'm gonna go repair. I didn't realize how damaged my combine was. I'm not gonna lie. I have a there's a beverage in my way, and I, oh gosh. I couldn't see the uh, the thing on the screen. So, all right, let's. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and we'll use the header cart. I don't know. Like, I drove around this map a little bit, but like not a lot. So, actually, I didn't drive around the map at all. I kind of walked here and walked there and looked at things. I didn't drive at all. All right. Yeah, right, Bear? It is. <laughs> and tornado siren sounded out here later. You can get a tornado without rain. It doesn't have to rain exactly like under a tornado for there to be a tornado. Just saying. Now there's rain in the area, obviously, but doesn't, you know. Yeah. Uh, so we're gonna drive to the shop real fast, man. These roads, uh, header carts are gonna be our friends, y'all. 
And don't mind the dry river. It's been it's been a dry year. You know, the farmer before me bought a rain gauge chat. And uh <laughs> once he bought it. Oh, there's traffic too. Oh, and it's British. That's right. We're in a it's a fictional uh UK uh uh map. It might turn traffic off though, let's be honest. There's a repair point in the homestead. Well, maybe I just wanted to tour the map. Look at that hill. Oh my God, that hill over there. Is that the castle from, uh, uh, what's it called? There's kind of a castle thing on, um, uh, oh, what's the map? Oh, bail around. There's kind of a castle in there, and I think that's that's it. All right. Repair point in the homes. Well, that's nice to know. Oh, goodness. Wait, we can't see the header on there? Really? All right. There we go. All right. So far, all we've done is spend money. Yeah, I bet. We'll make money someday. May not be much today, but we'll make it at some point. All right, remember British. Got to drive. Got to drive British, chat. These little tiny roads. <laughs> oh man, I just want to stay on the farm. I don't want to come out here on the road. But now that we know we don't have to, you know, drive to the shop to repair, that's that's good. That's really good. All right, hopefully we can swing wide here. Oh, there's a car. All right, y'all are going to have to go by before I can make that turn. Just saying. Uh, Bear, I haven't really given that much thought, to be honest. Loan or no loan. Have not given that much thought, so. You know. Um, right now we have no loan. So, maybe we'll try to keep it that way. We are playing on easy difficulty, so. Hopefully this isn't too much of a struggle to, uh, to make some uh, money. Hopefully. Say no loan, it's not easy. Yeah, I can go along with that, Sean. I can go along with it. Plus, we actually, like, really have everything we need right now. Like, the farmstead is packed with equipment. I don't believe so, Sean. No, just whatever. That's what we've harvested so far. But, like, equipment-wise, there's not one thing I can go out and say, hey, we need right now. Besides maybe a chainsaw and a way to, like, haul these trees away. But beyond that, like, we have four tractors. Like, we legitimately start with four tractors on this map. Like, that's a lot of tractors. So... Pretty, uh, pretty awesome if you ask me. And, like, start with a big square baler. Like, normally I'd start with, like, a little round baler, but no. Big square baler, so. That's good. Start with a triple set of moors, a loading wagon, a tether, a rake. Uh, I think... I was gonna say feed mixer, but I don't know actually if that one's part of it. Here, look, we'll we'll take a gander through the shop here. Um, we go to just well, first off, what's on sale? I was actually eyeing this seven R, but like that's more money than we have, so can't do anything with that. But we start with uh, one small tractor, this New Holland, 
three medium tractors, including that Massey. That's 200 horsepower Massey. So, well, that's actually a 300 horsepower Vulture. So we've we've got horsepower to be honest. Uh, come by wheel loader, tether, tippers, headers, rock picker. You know, the the list goes on. A six meter, a six meter cedar to start with. Like that's pretty good. We have we start with a sprayer. We start with a fertilizer slash lime spreader. A weeder, which we probably won't use. Grassland care roller, we won't use that most likely. Uh, more tether rake, loading wagon, baler, pickup, forks, uh, accoutrements. We even start with a little flatbed trailer and a header cart. So we got, we've got equipment, you know? Like that's not really our issue right now. It's just, uh, you know, put some time on the map and, and use the equipment that you have, you know? So, I mean, we did just start, you know, an hour ago, so. Not even, technically. Oh yeah. Oh, Kimmy, Kimmy's over there like, I need straw, you're going too slow, hurry up, go faster. Sorry, Kimmy. <laughs> oh, goodness. You're bad at this game, I know I am. It happens. Oh, goodness me. So I guess I I don't even know if that called or that cedar we have, does it cultivate or are we gonna have to like work dirt too? It probably all needs to be plowed, right? Maybe not. Uh needs lime. It does not need to be plowed, but we do need lime. So, Logger, what's going on? How are you? Welcome in. Oh, goodness. All right. It's so weird not having GPS, by the way. It's just, it's just the weirdest thing. Like, of all time. Because we've had GPS on 22 since, like, right after, not long after 22 came out, you know, Wobster put out the first GPS. So that's been, has been a minute. I did just note, I noticed the other day I hit it without, without realizing, but I, I, Crossed the 5,000 hour mark in uh, 22, by the way. Which so I thought was kind of interesting. Finally got over the 5,000 hour mark. It'll be interesting to see how many hours I get between, like, you know, now and 25. Yeah, we are on a new farm, yep. Riverview Farms is the map. Exclamation point map two. And this is the one that's joinable. So if you're interested in joining as we need people, we're going to pull names out of a queue. If you want to join the queue, it's just type exclamation point FSMP in the chat. It costs you a hundred bales uh, of our in chat currency. If you don't have a hundred bales, just hang out for a little while. You'll get them uh, just by being here. Uh, but if you want to be put on the queue, uh, then that's how you do it. And this is crossplay as well, cross-platform. So we're, we're really doing things different today, chat. We're really doing things different today. But that's all right. Sometimes driving in trees is fun. I mean, sometimes different is good. Sometimes different is good, right? Uh, thanks for that follow. Appreciate you. Welcome in. How's it going? What's poppin'? Oh yeah, different is good sometimes. And this is definitely different than what you've been seeing from me for uh for farm sim in any way. This is very, very different. So yeah, so if you have zero bales, I stole all your bales earlier today. And the way to get bales is simply just be here. You will earn your bales back over time some people are mad about me clearing out the bales but it is something i do from time to time oh yeah 
I used to do it at like the end of the year. I would always clear everybody's bales out for the end of the year, so. But yeah. Jericho, what's going on? How are you? Oh, yep. He said all is good, so that's good. That is good. But yeah, so we're just farming, man. That's what we're doing. We're going to need a lot of lime spread. <laughs> uh, oh, goodness. We're going to need the lime. That's for sure. And I don't know where we buy lime on this map, so... I'll have to figure that out as well. Hopefully there's a lime station somewhere not too far away. I don't know if there's any lime stations, to be honest. Not sure. We'll, uh, we'll have to find out. You know, the one piece of equipment we don't have is an auger wagon. <laughs> That's the one thing we, like, don't have. That's okay. You know, your wife got you a, a 40 90 for your birthday? Bro, she sounds like a keeper. <laughs> I'm just saying. Sounds like a keeper. <laughs> there was that one little spot where I backed up over there, Bear, huh? You noticed that too? Okay. <laughs> I'm probably going to get blamed for that, though. Snow09 cheered Dex100. Hi, how are you? I'm good. Snow, I'm doing great, man. Thanks for the bits. No doubt. Say, man. <laughs> All I got for my birthday the other day was a jar of Smucker's grape jelly. <laughs> I'm not even lying either. <laughs> Yeah, I'm Ryder, exclamation point map uh, number two. No spaces. We're on uh, Riverview Farms today. We're starting a new Friday. It's probably going to be Fridays unless we're playing ATS. Be there, 0313 cheered Dex 100. Taste of your own medicine, Kimmy. <laughs> I don't even know if she's paying attention to chat. <laughs> Uh, but we're gonna be we're gonna be doing this on Fridays for a little while, and we're letting people from chat join. If you guys want to join the queue, exclamation point FSMP in the chat. It'll put you in the queue. It costs a hundred bales, and you too join uh, the farm as we need help. We'll uh, pull names out of the hat. Uh, Obelix was wondering if there's anybody in the queue to start liming. I don't think there is currently. No. Now, and actually, even on the Fridays where we uh, where we're playing ATS in the evenings, we might like fire up a early stream, then take a little break in between, like this, and say ATS. Maybe, maybe we'll start adding a little time on Fridays, since you know I'm missing so much time here in August, right? Yeah, this is a console map. We're doing crossplay. We have like no mods. We have two mods. One is the map, and one is the required mod for the map. And that's all we have. So, yeah, that's it. That is it. And obviously, it's going to start a little slow because, you know, we're starting out, new farm, and we don't have any money, and. Things are going to start a little slow, but as we ha have more jobs, we'll uh, we'll bring people in. Plus, there's always contracts we can do as well. There's always some contracts out there as well. So, yeah. Yep, yep, yepers. Because we will talk about. I mean, I can talk about it today, but we do. We do have a Saturday coming up here. I'm gonna be not here the whole day. So, yeah. The whole thing, chat.
Uh, yeah, we have already had the zero percent issue today, uh, Yum Rider. So it's definitely not a mod issue, you know. Oh, so, yeah. What is the name under the XML file? No. I have no idea, too, Liz. I don't mess with XML. Somebody in here might know, but I, I don't have a clue. How do I talk to the people on console? So they would still have to be able to, like, you know, see stream. So, like... Yeah, as far as people joining, like, if they want to join TeamSpeak, they're more than welcome to join TeamSpeak. I'm muted in TeamSpeak right now. Uh, but like, I'm not going to bring new people on like talking on stream per se, because that's just, that's just dangerous. Um, so if people that join, uh, at all, they, if they mostly talk through chat, basically. Yeah, it's a giant problem. It's really annoying too. Yeah, I'm right here. Really annoying. See, I was thinking it was still maybe one of our mods that we've just had forever on the other server. Like, no collision camera or something, something like one of our, like, uh, forever mods or, or like, an essential mods like, like that or uh, maybe, uh, who knows? Maybe, you know, could have been a course play thing or who knows. But obviously, obviously it's not. So, yeah. Obviously not. The new engine will fix it. You mean the updated engine will fix it? It's not new. It's updated. Not brand new. Unfortunately. Yes, sir. A wasp. Oh. Toothless, that sounds like not a fun time. Hopefully you're not allergic to him. Dude, my brother one time, he got into a wasp nest and he, come to find out, was very allergic to him. After that, he carried an EpiPen for a long time. Yeah. Carried an EpiPen with him quite a while. Yeah. All right, come on. But that's uh, that's not fun to be stung by anything. A swelling, okay. Well, that's good. That's good. Now I'm having like PTSD flashbacks the last time I was stung by a bee. It's at a neighbor's house two doors down. It got me in the webbing with like of your thumb and forefinger, you know, pointer finger. It wasn't pleasant. It was not pleasant. But that's okay. It's all good. And for the record, I you know I I don't know if I need to say this, but I will say it. Like this map is available for the regular crowd too. So if any of the regulars want to play, just throw your name on the queue, and you know get you in here too. So it's for anybody. Just saying. It's not a skipper, by the way. It's not a skipper. It's just what's left, okay? <laughs> Definitely not a skipper, though, I swear. Might be a skipper. It might be a skipper. You are allergic to bee stings. I gotcha. That's fun. That's fun. Oh, between your what? 
watch and wrist. Oh, that's terrible. That's actually terrible. Wow. Oh, I just tried to click to get my mouse chat. I know we don't have auto drive. <laughs> I can't click to bring up my mouse anymore. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's so bad. It's so bad. But that's okay. It's fine. Non skipper rose of shame. True. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Rose of shame. I mean, that's really hard on the PTO shaft when you just unhook midfield, but that's all right. It happens. All right, on to our last, uh, our last field for Harveston. Plus, we decide to go do a contract. It would be cool to go see parts of this map with uh, going to do contracts. I, like I said, I haven't really been around this map much. Just uh, kind of jumped around through the escape menu a couple different places, and that was pretty much that. But that's uh, that's okay. How do we harvest in this field, chat? This one is an awkward duck. <laughs> you know, technically the 45 is the longest edge uh thanks for the follow appreciate you welcome in how's it going what's popping oh man 45 for efficiency probably is start north and work south by the way uh exclamation point map two today we're on a different map today we have map one which will be the regular map and map two will be uh for now on fridays so oh, yeah. It's all good. Welcome in. Awesome. Oh, it's going with our GPS. It's going somewhere. <laughs> Take the texture. Yeah, it it looks good so far. I've been I'm impressed with this map so far. Looks good. It's looking, looking pretty good. It's definitely got a different wheat texture, but it looks, I'm, I'm here for it. I'm here for it so far. The tinkle in my pants, yeah. Be bear 0313 no. cheered dex 100, you won't cut a land. You won't cut a land. <laughs> Uh, I am on PC, but this is a cross-play map and cross-play server, technically. Did I save it 45 in the auto steer? No. Uh, bear thanks for the bits. You want me to kind of land, huh? Alright. Say less. I'll do it. Uh, once I get my uh, two outside passes done, I'll do it. I'll kind of land. I'm here for bad ideas. I believe wheat and some of the other crops have a uh, custom texture to them. I forget which other crops, but I know wheat was one of them. Yeah. Which is always impressive if they're doing custom textures and it's, you know, a console map. That's kind of... That's impressive as far as I'm concerned. Definitely impressive. But yeah. Oh yeah. In cab, no GPS. Oh boy. Yeah, we're really farming now. Well, like Kimmy said, I can't drive in a straight line. It'll be even worse in the cab. So. <laughs> It'll be way worse in cab. That's okay. It's all good.
Oh man, I was gonna say we need an auger wagon to put lime in it, but we don't have the lime to auger wagon mod. So never mind on that idea, huh? Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. In cab backing up. Yeah, the mirrors are useless in this game, so yeah. In cab backing up is very difficult, yes. In a combine. In a tractor, is not so bad because you can just turn your camera around, but. You know, in a combine, if you turn your camera around, it doesn't really do any good. Does not really help. Yeah, you ever had a, I heard something about like, you know, it seems like, you know, so far what we've seen out of Farm Sim is like they're making a pretty good jump, right? And uh, the the rumor rumor on the street is because you don't have the old uh, the old gen consoles to worry about, you know, which makes sense. Uh, you have to have the map, and then there's a required mod uh, for the map. It's a biogas plant, I believe. That's it. Oh, there goes the profit. Dang it, Bobby. Dang it, Bobby. That's right. The tipper's on its way, I think. I think I saw it coming, maybe. Uh, Plugger Toothless is wondering how to adjust the, or like in the XML, what's the unload rate or unfold rate? One of those two, like what's the line in the XML? And I don't have a clue. I don't know if it's unload or unfold. Uh, but one of those two. If you knew off the top of your head. Because you would be the guy to... The guy to ask about that. All right, let's keep on rolling here. The profit chat. I ran over the crop. Literally can't have anything nice. Yeah. What a shame, chat. What a shame. What a shame. That's okay. It's fine. It's all good. So, Bear wants me to cut a land. So, am I supposed to count rows or? <laughs> How does that work? Uh... <laughs> How does that work exactly? Can't give a line without seeing. Gotcha, plugger. Okay. Toothless, there's your answer. Basically, can't without seeing it. All right. Thank you, plugger. I, I don't know enough about XML to even comment on that. God, I'm over here compass farming. Jeez, chat. <laughs> I'm over here looking at my compass trying to get, you know, somewhat lined up. I tell you what, Chad. I tell you what. Can I put GPS back on now? Is that, is that possible? There you go, Toothless. Are you listening? Plugger's willing to help you out. There you go. 
Plugger, it's very kind of you. Very, very kind of you, Plugger. Right. All right, we've cut a land chat. It's not gonna be, it's not gonna come out perfect. I guarantee that. Not like normal, but that's okay. Uh, thanks for the one bit. Appreciate it. Blogger, your help is always appreciated, sir. Your expertise is always appreciated. I just hope that Toothless is still here <laughs> and paying attention. Because I don't, I didn't ask what Madi wants to change. That part I didn't, I didn't get. That's all right. It's all good. All right, straight lines. You know, that's, we're cutting the land through a field. That ain't bad, Jet. That ain't bad at all. I'll take it. Mostly because I use my compass. <laughs> oh, goodness. Gotta love the compass now. That's all right. It's all good. All right. Drop that straw. Turn around. Let's go. This is a good looking Massey, though. I like that we started with, you know, I actually like, and this is going to sound bad for some people, but like, we didn't start with any John Deere's. We started with the Vulture that kind of looks like a John Deere, but we didn't start with any John Deere's. Which is kind of amazing, honestly. So yeah. Considering we have so much John Deere on our other map, I guess it's fine to not have any on here, right? I guess. I don't know. It's it'll it'll be fine. It'll buff. It'll buff. I yeah. To some people it is a good thing plugger yeah we do have a vulture that's that's painted green and yellow but that's just paint oh i did not leave a nice oops that's my bad that's my bad it'll buff I don't know who that dude is. There's a dude that rides like a little scooter up and down my street every day. And it's kind of like not quiet at all. But Buddy just gets after it every day. He is living his best life scooting around, around town. That's okay. It's all good. All right, I'm gonna go up north and stay up north now, probably. Finish this field up up there. Before we uh, back back down yonder. That was a good land though. That was a good idea, Bear. Oh goodness. Probably should have cut two in this field to be honest, but it's all good. doing just fine it's such a slower pace though man i'm used to the big combines with the big headers and the faster corn heads and stuff you know this is a different pace for sure a lot slower but that's okay it's all good it is all good
And somebody left bales over here in my way? Come on. Wait. Yeah, it's fine. I guess we could get a conveyor belt, maybe, or an auger conveyor belt. Depending on how far we have to go for lime, we could, you know, put lime in that tipper. I load our spreader from that. I don't know. We'll have to see how far away lime is. I don't, I mean, we can buy bags, I guess, from the shop. I don't know if we actually have like a like a buy point um I don't know. I don't actually know. That's okay. What, the old FAR combine? The Farm Sim 13 one? That thing was, 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 was an interesting combine, wasn't it? I know many of us had way too many hours on the old FAR. Yeah, it was quite a, quite a beast. Quite a beast. No cab, you know. Uh, thanks for the... Four bits, by the way. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. <laughs> Top of the hill. Uh, thanks for that follow. Appreciate it. Top of the hill. There's something about farm production. I don't know. That's like liquid. It might. I don't know if you can get lime out of there or not. I think that's a biogas plant, by the way. That farm production thing. That's the one required mod, by the way. Uh, thanks for that follow. Appreciate you. Welcome in. How's it going? What's popping? Yeah, that that farm production thing is. Uh, I believe it's a biogas plant. Because it's sitting right up there. There's a bunker up here. So it would kind of make sense, but I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Rose shame, chat. Rose is shame. Uh, stand so far so good. Uh, did you get the mod I sent you this morning? And sorry, I sent it this morning and not last night or this afternoon, whatever time it was. I got a little distracted last night with kind of a uh, family emergency, so. Yeah. Sure did. Okay, good. Good, good, good. No problem. No problem. Everything's okay now, as far as I know. Yeah, last night was not necessarily the situation. So, yeah. Yeah, Stan, there's no water in that, in that building, though. No. no water in that building. Uh, somebody, somebody in the family had to... Uh, not like immediate family, not like in my house. I mean, they're immediate family, but not, not like in my house. I uh, had to be rushed in for uh, an emergency surgery last night. Uh, as far as I've heard this morning, they're doing fine. Everything's good, but uh, it was a little, little unnerving last night. Not going to lie. So, yeah, that's what's kind of going on there. You know, when family's calling you after midnight, it's like, wait a minute. You, you First off, y'all never call me. Why are you, you know, calling me after midnight, especially? It's like, yeah, something's going on here, you know? And, uh, yeah, sure enough, it, uh, it was. 
Yeah. But as far as I know, everything's everything is okay uh, as of this morning. Yeah. Yeah, no, we definitely on our on our cow barns or cow barns that I like to mess with in farms. And personally, I'd rather not have water. Um, I know it's realistic, but at the same time, if I have a cow barn that holds whatever you know number of cows, like I think I'm gonna trench a water line to it, you know. So, yeah. I uh, thank you. I uh, hope they will as well. Yeah. They will. I'll find out more later, probably, or tonight, or whatever. But, uh, yeah. I have to go see them tomorrow. I don't know. Probably, well, maybe not. I don't know about tomorrow, but... If the opportunity comes up, well, family first, obviously, so... I have to miss some stream. I have to miss some streams. Yeah. Thanks, Snow. Appreciate it. The waters, yeah. Yep. Cow barns have plumbing. I mean, I would trench a water line to my cow barn, yeah. I mean, <laughs> just saying. Obviously, yeah. Holy cow. Oh, it only held 30,000 liters? I got you. I guess that would be a good thing for auto drive. You could just set it up to keep it full. And it would just, you know, every time it needs water, it would just run. But it's all right. Yeah, I don't know about this uh, turning like I'm turning. It's not working. And the bailer has officially caught me, by the way. <laughs> I know it caught me a while ago, but yeah. It's the whole thing. Oh, ooh. The building produces all of that stuff. Ahem. Uh, yeah, Trent, I saw they were pouring the uh, footer to our fart today. Yeah. All right. So we'll have to go check that building out after a while. Just say it. Although I don't think it shows up in here. Yeah, they don't own any production, so. Wonder how that works. Playing with no mods, which one do I miss the most? Well, the one I've tried to activate about 875 times is the InstaWars mod. Because all of our equipment's kind of ooey and dirty. Uh, which is like a little mod that most people wouldn't even think about. But it's a great little mod. Um, obviously GPS. Uh, guidance steering, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, miss that one a lot. Is there any common land we can buy? I don't know. Hang on, let me get this done and get out of the way so that... Uh, Kimmy can finish her job. We'll get pipe out so Harry can go run the last of the train to the homestead. All right, let's see. 